Right. Robbie, what are you doing here? What's going on? Nothing's going on. Is Bianca all right? She's fine. So what are you doing then? I thought you were supposed to be lying low. The trial's over. What are you on about? I thought it just started. That's over honest. They've all been found guilty. Are you joking? No, so I thought I'd come back. I can't handle it there. I don't know anyone. This is where I belong. What you reckon? Yeah, I do. So Bianca's right, isn't she? Yeah, she's fine. She's having a really good rest. Mum's looking after her. Strange girl, though, my sister. She's missing you, something rotten. Yeah, she better be. Hmm. What do you think you're doing? It's time to get up, mate. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. What's the time? Just gone nine. Nine? Yeah, and some of us have got work to do. Oh, don't let me stop you. No, 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 no. You don't understand. I've taken a day's holiday so I can get the grips from my course work. Last thing I need is you snoring on the sofa. Where's your mother? Gone out. Well, just give me another half an hour. Let me come round. I'm going out for a pint of milk. You better be up by the time I get back, all right? Yeah? Yeah. Thank you, Amy. Thanks so much. Bye now. Hey, it's Jesse! I've got ya! Hiya. How's it going? Hey, you're going to tell Mark where we're off to? We're going shopping, then we're going to the zoo. To the zoo? Yeah, so I'll have a sum. Wish I could come with you. <laughs> We've got a special surprise for you, haven't we? For me? What is it? We can't tell because that wouldn't be a surprise, would it, Stu? <laughs> oh, so I'm stupid now, am I? Hey, come on, you. We're going to get to Oxford Street and then get to the zoo for Penguin Feed. We better get a move on. <sighs> she made me ring up and find out the time. Well, I bet she did. But have a great day. Yeah. And you, you be good, yeah? See you later. Mm. See ya. How's your mum bearing up? All right, the child's knackered her out a bit. She and Bianca make a fine pair. There's a lot of mother and daughter bonding going on. You're well off out of it. Sounds like it. What are you going to do? I don't know. I was hoping to see Barry later. See if he'll take me back on. Yeah, well, where are you going to stay? I don't suppose I can stay on your floor. Robbie, I'd love to help you out, mate, but I've still got Diane and Jack staying with me. There's not enough room as it is. Well, just fall down to Bianca or something, Bianca and I share a bed. You know, sleeping with your sister's one thing, but I don't fancy sharing a duvet with you. Sorry, mate. I really want to make some progress today. It's just going to ruin it. How am I supposed to get any work done with him slobbing about the house? Oh, Tony, how long's he staying? Well, you've got a nerve. How many weeks has your mum been with us now? Oh, come off. It's not as bad as him. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. Go and do a bit of shopping or something. Calm yourself down a bit. If only life were that simple, eh? But go and get a couple of chops and a bottle of wine for tonight and I'll cook. You never know. We might persuade them both to go over the pub. We'll have a place to ourselves. Tony, how you doing, mate? Uh, fine, then. But if I want to get in touch with your editor, what's the best approach? Well, he's a pretty busy bloke. Is it important? Oh, extremely. Well, you could try the snooker all sometimes there around lunchtime. Oh, cheers. I'm not making any promises, though. Believe me, do you? They all have guns on us. That's what an armed guard is. So what are you going to do now? Get next bus back, I suppose. And you're not even going to speak to Barry? What's the point if I've got nowhere to stay? We could do with a professional back behind the controls. The guy Barry's got in doesn't know what day it is half the time. Look, uh, there's a lot of Alsatian in that dog, isn't there? Yeah, I reckon his dad was a pedigree. Is he fierce? Why do you think he's called Wellard? Rob, we should move in here. You are? Well, he'd be doing us a favour, wouldn't he? Why? Well, he could get his old job back, he'd have somewhere to stay, and uh, we'd have a guard dog. Yeah, well, it doesn't look very fierce to me. Yeah, but it is when he's angry. I mean, if anyone came in now, I'd go straight for their throat. And he's done that before, has he? No, but he would if he had to. In other words, he's as soft as a baby. No, that doesn't matter, he looks so hard, and stop anybody from breaking in. Yeah, look, I could train him to be more fierce. Where on the floor do you want a kit? Yes! You've spoken to him, haven't you? What did he say? He was very sympathetic. And? Refinancing isn't an option. He must be able to help somehow. What about the VAT bill? It won't do it. But we can always get money, you know? What are you talking about? I know a few people. For crying out loud, Barry, haven't you learned anything? What are we supposed to do? It's more a question of what we've got to do. What are you saying? We've got to sell Manor Wood, and possibly one of the other businesses, too. No, we've got no choice. You can't sell them. You've worked all your life. You can't sell no, them. If we don't sell, then our creditors will sell them for us. I don't believe this. I'm so sorry. Look, we both made a mistake. I saw the figures. I thought they were fine. The truth is, we both got it wrong. Police were on the phone earlier. Have they found Vanessa? No, they haven't found her. I know exactly who she is. What do you mean? Vanessa and Marks are part of her husband and wife team who've been doing this scam for years. That's all I was, Dad. I was just 
part of their scam. Could I have been so stupid? Could have happened to anyone. Well, it didn't, did it? it? Never does. God, if I get hold of that woman, how can they do that to people? She must have seen me coming. I spent years grafting, building up the business. For what? To be conned out of it by some smooth-talking tart? That's going to kill me. I don't suppose you've thought for one second what this is going to do to my marriage, have you? Sorry. Pat spent ages with Frank Butcher, not knowing from one day to the next how much money she was going to have in her pocket. But I gave her something different. She had security for the first time in her life. I'm sorry, son, I know you've been through hell, but I don't know how we're going to get out of this mess. You've had the place redecorated. Is that all right with you? I wasn't sure, that's all. Everything seems kind of familiar. Well, it's the same flat, isn't it? There's only so much you can do with a tin of paint. We had the telly in that corner, didn't we? No, we didn't. Yeah, yeah, it was over there, yeah. No, I bought that a plant in that corner, it gets the sun. Are you sure about that? Matthew, where was the television? He was right, it was in the corner. He would be. Go and get your bag. How are you? How do you think I am? Well, it can't be easy. But how are you feeling in yourself? All right, I suppose. What are these tests about? I don't know. It's like I've got pins and needles in my legs. They hurt. No, it's just sort of numb. I have no idea what it could be. Well, I wouldn't be going for the tests if they did, would I? You ready? Yeah. How are you two related? I've got no idea. Don't mind me. Pretend I'm not here. I'll do a bit of tidying up. You're making it very difficult for me to pretend you're not here, you know. Been over the pub, have you? Oh, no. High spirits. You know how they take hold here sometimes. I you're supposed to be convalescing. How's the work going? Fine. You're really trying to make something of yourself, aren't you? Is that all right with you, is it? Oh, yeah. Very pleased. <laughs> Much rather my lab was with a go-getter and somebody sticks around his backside all day. Right. So, uh, you and Simon, uh, you reckon it's a long-term kind of a thing or what? <sighs> Look, I think I'm going to nip out for a bit of fresh air. Stay here. Your mum will be back in a minute. Have a bite with us. No, I think I need to get out. Suit yourself. Nothing to worry about. He needs you more than you need him. Barry! Oi, Barry! Not a good moment, obviously. I'm home! Don't come in yet! Well, why not? What's going on in there? You can come in now. Surprise! Wow, look at that. Where's Ruth? I think we should have a big slice for ourselves now. She's upstairs putting the pretty dress on. Do you want a drink? No, no, we need to talk. Well, we're all listening. There's no easy way for me to tell you this. Look, before you go on, can I just say how much I've always enjoyed doing that job? But we're selling the cars and closing the company, and you're all out of a job. I'm sorry. <laughs>